guys, so today I'm back with a new video and today I'm going to be showing you guys what I like to keep in my travel makeup bag because since we are in summer a lot of us are traveling and we like to we tend to bring want to bring all of our makeup with us and that's totally not necessary so today I'm going to show you guys what I like to keep in there and how I like to just keep it simple but bring the things that are necessary so let's just get into the video I think it's like a zebra looking print I mean there's nothing really to it. It's really simple and it's not like anything fancy. I do want to get like a big, really cute Victoria's Secret one, but that will be later on. But this makeup bag is very big. It's very deep just to like show you guys. So I can fit a lot of stuff in here. Like my makeup only takes about like half of this space up. And then I can put like all of the rest of my toiletries in there. Like hair stuff and like body care and face wash and everything so this is a really good makeup bag I mean no one's really gonna look at it so it's not a really deal about how it looks but I think it's okay for now but so this is it and I guess it's by Ellen Tracy I don't know it says it like right here but yeah okay so first thing I'm going to go over are my brushes so I normally um if I am traveling I will carry more brushes but these are like my basic basic brushes that I have to have and they are from Real Techniques and I keep them in this little thing this little travel case because this is what they came in so um my first brush is just my um contour brush and it looks like this and it's really um I use this to blend around my eyebrows and then kind of just blend everything out and then my next brush is just my foundation brush I think it's my no it's called my buffing buffing brush and yeah so it looks like this and has like a little whiter um kind of tip at the end or whatever you want to call it brush and my last brush is just my pointed foundation brush and it looks like this and it kind of looks like the pointed looking thing and I use this brush to do my eyebrows and when I'm ever whenever I'm trying to like clean up around the edges with concealer I use this for um my eyebrows I don't really use it for anything else so yeah and then for my buff buffing brush I use this for my foundation um to you I put it I use this to put my foundation on and then I go in with my this brush to do a um better blending of it so though these are my brushes that I like to use and then of course if I'm if I know I'm like I'm going to like an event or wherever I'm going I will bring like my eyeshadow brushes but those are like my basic brushes so I tend not to wear eyeshadow anymore like if I'm just like every day I normally would because I like wore glasses and I was like I feel like I would need to like have a pop of color with my aura and I talked about this in my mini summer hauls so you guys can go check that a video out and this is just it's a it says it's one ounce somewhere it's on the box but this is just a one ounce foundation so make sure if your foundation is like check the requirements for when you're flying because you don't want them to pull you over during like security and be like what's this and you're like my foundation so I know a lot of people get like little traveling size tubes and like put their foundation in it like if it's like a pump like this you can just pump it in there but I don't I don't like doing that so I just bring my my whole foundation next thing that I like to bring is my concealer and this is what I do I use to do my eyebrows I don't use it to conceal under my eyes only because it is a little bit too light um so I use it for my eyebrows and it's just the Nuance Salem Haic one and you can find this at CVS. I'm not sure if you can find it at like Sephora or like Ulta or anything but I know CVS has it and it's a really good foundation. It's just like a lip gloss sticky thing so I love it and um, it gets the job done and it's not too pricey so yeah. Next thing that I'd like to bring are is my is our are my eyebrow stuff and I just dropped it um so this is just all these things are from Anastasia and this is just the Anastasia Anastasia power duo brow power duo thingy I've had this I've talked about this a lot in my videos so I, I, I like to use this and then I have to bring my brush that comes with it and this is just the number seven one it's with the angled brush and then the spoolie at the end and this is like my lifesaver when it comes to my eyebrows because I have to do my eyebrows next thing is just the eyebrow gel um I sometimes use this sometimes don't if it's just like if I'm going to be out for like the whole day then I tend to use this just so my eyebrows stay in place but if it's like a really quick thing and I have makeup on I normally like won't put this it's just it depends on the situation 
Next thing that I like to bring are just my mascaras. And this is just the Maybelline. They're both Maybelline. And they're Maybelline the Rocket Volume Express. And then the Mega, Mega, Maybelline Mega Plus Volume Express. And these two are my favorite mascaras at the moment. I need to get new ones because they're like, they're like almost done. So, but these are the ones that I use right now. Next thing that I like to bring is this Baby Skin Instant pore eraser from Maybelline and so story behind this I bought this really wanting like a primer for my face because I was like searching up primers and I found this one online so I bought it I went to the store and I bought it and then I I used it for the occasion I bought it for and then once I came home I didn't use it and then I started using it again and I'm really liking it because if you if your skin is like that type of skin that has like pores and your pores always show through whenever you put your foundation on then this is like a really good thing to like kind of like smooth out your skin and kind of erase your pores that's why it's called a pore eraser of course but I really like this and it's just it's really great so this has been another new favorite of mine Next thing that I like to bring are just lip products. So part of like my lip uh, routine, I guess, is just starting off with a lip balm just to moisturize my lips. And then I will go in with a lipstick. And this is just the Milani Naturally Chic. And I talked about this in my mini haul as well. So you guys can go check that video out. Um, and this is just a really nice natural shade for the summer because I've been trying to look for like a more natural shade. Um, like a more subtle color and this is totally it as you guys can see it it kind of looks dark but I mean it kind of is dark but it's a really pretty like natural shade it's not too like vampy or too bright or anything so yeah and then last thing is just this I just drop my lip balm it's just this CoverGirl Smoochies um, lipsticks and I've had this like forever like I got this like I think when they like first came out and this is just in the shade 255 sweet tea okay this is like a lot of names but it's just like this really coral color and I'm wearing it right now um, it doesn't really give my lips any color like a little little bit of color and just a lot of shine last thing that I like to bring is like I told you guys just a simple um, eyeshadow palette if I know that I'm going to be like attending a really big event, then I will bring my bigger palettes. But if I'm, if I know I'm not, I like to bring just stick with like these small little palettes. You guys can get this at Target. That's where I got it from. It's just the Maybelline. It's Maybelline New York, and um, yeah, it's Sunlit Bronze. That's like the colors I think, or like the name of it. Yeah, Sunlit Bronze right there, and it just has like this. Um, creamish color or copper like a more darker one and yeah I mean you guys can practically see it so yeah and I like to bring this rather than bring like my $50 one because sometimes there's no need for that one you kind of just want to bring it just in case so I like to just get these little ones from Target that are like five bucks so if they do get ruined or get crushed or anything it's not that big of a deal rather than a $50 one like your naked palettes or like your Lorax or anything like that so that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to follow me on Instagram, Twitter, Pinterest, all those good things. And don't forget to subscribe if you're not already to see more videos like this. And I will see you guys in my next video.